I have a new sling, y'all. This is what Mr. Buddy come up with. And let me tell you what, it's been amazing. How are y'all doing? It's Thursday, yes. So happy Thursday afternoon, everyone. You got your coffee? I've got mine. Let me lift this arm up some. I can take this and hang it for a second since I've got my arm sitting on the table. But I wanted to quickly come on and do a video. There won't be any editing because I wanted to give you an update of what the surgeon said Tuesday when I went for my post-surgery procedure. And I also wanted to share a beautiful gift that was uh, sent to me, a handmade gift at that. But Tuesday, Buddy drove me to the surgeon and uh, he took that wrap off, that, what is it, semi-cast wrap? And this is what I've got on now. But um, he took it off and sent me to x-ray. And then he showed the x-ray prior to surgery and then the x-ray from Tuesday. Wow, my hand was crushed. Now, I actually asked, why did we have to do a hand reconstruction and remove bone? And what he told me was because of my osteo so bad, and I will be addressing it in a month or two, having some bone scans, that when I broke the bones, normally you'll have a break, a hairline fracture, something like that, or a larger fracture where they go in there and put a screw or a pin in. But in my case, it crushed the bones. So I had to have bones removed, implants inserted, and a hand reconstruction. And that's what I ended up with. Now, I still have two pins in this hand. I'll go in two weeks and he will open a part of the incision up and remove those pins, stitch me back, and he will put a new cast on for another two weeks. Uh, from there, I don't know if that cast will come off and I will have a, maybe a Velcro splint or does another one go on because I know that the second cast has to come off because they're gonna actually um, remove the stitches. So I don't know what's gonna replace the third, meaning the one I just had after surgery was one, this is number two, in two weeks I'll go for number three. But I wanna give a warning but I'm gonna show y'all where the cut was made. Um, so if you have a weak stomach, turn away or just fast forward. But I felt that inserting this um, would help maybe to understand where they cut the hand and kind of give a visual of where they, the implants had to go in, which would be in this finger and this thumb, and it's mainly this right here that was removed. So I'm gonna insert that picture. I can do that one-handed, and then we'll come back, and I wanna share this beautiful gift that actually came the day we got back from seeing the surgeon and getting this put on, and what it's been like the last two days having this new cast. Pretty gross, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, would, I, didn't ex I, I didn't expect that, neither did Buddy. So when they were taking that off and they peeled back that white tape stuff, I, I was taken back. I was, my breath was taken from me. Cause immediately, I'll be honest, I was like, what a scar. And then that instant kicked in I still have my hand. That scar is trivial. I'm gonna get 80% function back of my hand, at least 80%. So that, that leaves a window for even more, and that's where my energy is gonna go. And now you'll see that I've got a piece of paper towel here. That's because they didn't trim this good enough, and it, and it can cut you. It's very, very sharp. So I'm just keeping a napkin folded, tucked in there and folded. And 
that way it's not jagging and cutting my fingers. But yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was a hard day. I do believe, I think, and I gotta put this back in here. I do believe it was the weight of this cast because it's extremely heavy. They had to move my hand a certain position to set the cast. And it was, it was like I was experiencing the pain that I did the day after surgery and swelling came again. And it was to the point last night we thought we were gonna have to call this morning and have me go in so they could look at it. But I kept it up against my chest all night, took the meds as scheduled, and a lot of the swelling has gone back down and the pain is there, but it's not as intense as it was yesterday. Yesterday was rough. And I think that's because I had to hold, a hand, hold the hand a certain way, hold the thumb out, which was horrible, but they had to set it in order to get the cast. And then, you know, we went on home and it was actually yesterday that the pain kicked in. It was not so much Tuesday evening. Tuesday evening was more pressure than pain. But through the night, oh my heavens, I thought, oh no, we've done went backwards instead of forward, but today has not been bad. And they threw that blue sling away. So I was like, it's too heavy and I'm steadily trying to hold it. And buddy this morning before he went to work, he said, let's try this. And it's um, one of his, it's hunting belt is what it is. And he put it on there and I was like, we don't have to hunt a sling. Guys, this is perfect. It's not rubbing my neck. It's holding it in place. It's not walking. So this is now what I'm gonna sport. Even when I go for my doctor's checkup, this is gonna be my sling. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach people if I go back to town, Buddy drives me and be like, hey, you might wanna look at this instead of them blue slings that don't do anything but aggravate you, burn your neck, walk up your cast, that was the biggest mess. I'm not gonna lie, it was a big mess. But um, Buddy hooked me up. Now, I was kind of down and out Tuesday, of course, after seeing that cut. And a box arrived. I wanna show y'all something. I want you to look at this. Now this is, I believe, let me look. I, I don't wanna say something wrong, guys. This is black walnut. It's the number 113. So I'd say that's 113th piece that this gentleman made and he made this in 2019. This is from Mr. John. And he wanted me to have it. And it also has a scripture. Excuse me, y'all. Like I said, I can't cut any of this out. Um, and I believe it is, uh, oh, I can't see it. Buddy pulled it up for me. I think it's, well, I can't see it. I apologize, I cannot read it for the glare. But anyhow, there was a scripture in there and he opened up my Bible and we read the scripture but I've got a beautiful card and there's a beautiful personal note in there. Um, basically it says our prayers are with you, um, that I have a quick recovery. Um, Mr. John made this bowl and he wanted you to have it. And Mr. John, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, this is, this is a beautiful piece. And I will definitely cherish this and I will display this for all my days in the kitchen. I've never had anything handmade like this, guys. Either, either gifted to me or purchased. I've never had anything like it. And um, if there was ever better medicine for that day coming in from the hospital, or this, should I say the surgeon checkup, this was the best medicine. So I wanted to share that with all of you guys. It's these little things right here, especially you, you take the time, Miss Mary Ellen with the lampshade. 
There's so many things that you guys have gifted me and get well cards and all that I cherish. Like I've said before, and I will repeat again, that is my fuel because it encourages me to keep pushing along. Not overwork myself, but keep pushing for this day too shall pass. And it's your encouragement and your soft-spoken words, your emails, your gifts. All of this is my fuel to tell me, hey, you owe it to yourself. You can do this. You can be the example for many. And that's what my word is to you guys. I want to be the example to show that we may be here. We can get here. But together, we'll make it possible. So I wanted to thank y'all. And I wanted to share what, you know, what my ugly hand looks like. And I apologize for the ones that have a cringy stomach. But yeah, it's, um, it's pretty rough and it's pretty massive. Yeah, so that's where I'm cut at. I think I told y'all I felt the pain kind of, oh, right here. And I felt, I wasn't even feeling where it was, the cut was. If y'all remember, I was like, I think they cut me here because this is tender. The whole hand is tender. But actually, now that the cast is on, it's extremely localized. And it does hurt. Boy, I'm liking my strap. But guys, we've got um, the lemon balm to do. It's been, what, six weeks. And I keep looking at it. I'm going to try my best. It'll be between now and Sunday because Buddy will be able to be home to help me. We've got to get that drained. So all of you that have your lemon balm going like mine, it is time now that we strain it and I will show you how I mix it, how I save it, and what I put in it for our bug spray. Now we still have bugs here. It's uh, August, I don't remember guys, it's August something, it's Thursday but we've got 109 degree temps. We are actually under a heat warning and we're having to run the overhead sprinkler, that tripod sprinkler, where our fruit trees are and our citrus trees. He's been running those every day, all day. Things are just so, so dry and I believe we're under a burn ban now, but we still have bugs. So if I wanna ride on the golf cart with Bud, I need to spray down. So we will go ahead and get that lemon balm bug spray made up and we will store the remainder. And that way, if y'all are just coming out of, you know, bug season, you'll have it ready for next year. Ours actually carries all the way through December almost. And we only have two months and then it starts in the spring again. But this isn't just for mosquitoes. Them little no -seams and biting gnats, it works on those as well. And if you spray your ankles really well, it does, I have seen the little chiggers and red bugs, it does, it doesn't keep them away, but they're less likely to get on you. I've seen a complete decrease by spraying my ankles and kind of up my leg if I'm walking out in the grass and we had not, you know, um, put our spray out for the year because we use biofin. I think I've told y'all that many times. We do use biofin, not just for the ants, but for the chiggers, the ticks, the fleas. We do use that. We don't put it where the chicken run is. They're on like a quarter of an acre, but once it dries, it doesn't affect them because this is actually what they use in school cafeterias. But there again, that's just what we do. It doesn't make us wrong. Um, you know, it just may be wrong for you guys, but the lemon balm, you can't go wrong with that. You know, not to mention it makes the best tea and I cook with my lemon balm leaves. So we need to get that drawed up and taken care of, but I may have to have Mr. Buddy's help because I'm one-handed and that's a glass jar and y'all, I'm gonna make a mess if I try it by myself, but it don't mean that I may not attempt tomorrow, but if I use my noggin, I'll wait till I have help. And therefore Mr. Buddy can do it for us. You know, I just, you know, illustrate, hey, do this, this, this. That would be fun, wouldn't it? As long as I take this hand and tie behind my back, because y'all know me, I'm going to be like, uh, no, do it like this. Uh, do it like that. You know, I, I can't help myself. They only made one lippy. 
Trust me, I've looked for others, but I can't find nobody to join my circus, so. <laughs> it's just one lippy. But guys, that's where I'm at. I'm taking it easy. Um, I'm just letting things settle down. So today has been uh, just kind of a quiet day. You know, I go sit out for a minute, I'll come in. I just can't do a lot of moving because when I do, it, it, it truly hurts. But as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. And I will see y'all in the next day or two. We're going to get that uh, lemon balm drawed up. Mr. John, thank you so much, sir. I will cherish it.